My name is Jamie Raven. Hello, Jamie Raven. Hello. How old are you? I am 31. And where are you from? Uh, originally from Hammersmith, but I now live... Uh, big up. I now live in uh, Ascot <laughs> uh, with my, my wife. Can I ask you what you're doing today? I'm a magician. My earliest memory of watching magic was probably about 10 or 11. Uh, we were on a uh, family holiday and we were out in a restaurant and I had a magician who came over and he did his, his act, I thought it was amazing. That was it and it would spark something that, you know, 20 years later would bring me here today. I live at home uh, with my wife, Ashley. She's the best thing that, that ever happened to me and everything I do, everything is for her. When we first met, we were at the bar, and I said, oh, I'll, I'll get you a drink. And she had a £5 note, so I folded it up and changed it into a, a £50 note and paid for it, and it was all the money I had in the world. That was one thing that, that won her over, the prospect of, yeah, £50 notes. Little did she know that that was the only one that she'd see for the next eight years. Over the years, I've performed in pubs, I've done clubs, I've done the darkest rooms, the loudest rooms. You know, it's, it is a slog. I just want them to see the decades, basically, of, of practice and what I know I can do. So I just, I'm excited and, and nervous in myself that I want to do the best that I can do. Today, it could change everything. To actually do the raw variety as a performer, you made it. <laughs> OK. Good luck. Come on, mate. May I come and join you at your table? Would that be OK? I'd like to share with you a trick. It uses uh, a £50 note, one of the largest currency notes available in this country. With my sleeves rolled up, guys, with nothing in my hands, we can get a shot of this on the screen. I'm going to change this £50 note into the much rarer, infinitely more valuable, Bank of Britain's Got Talent £50 note. No way. So you can see we've got we've got our head of state, Mr. Simon Cow. We've got our beautiful princesses, of course, our queen. Uh, so <laughs> for you to keep, don't spend it all at once, guys. I don't want you to feel left out. So I brought along some more cash for you. But I know, I know deep down, you don't really want one of these. You'd much rather have one of those. Bank of Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> one for each of you to keep. Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. What? Thought I'd finish with a trick using a picture that I've drawn. Um, it's a self-portrait. That's me. This is where we are. Britain's Got Talent. You see, most magicians at this point would ask one of you to reach in and take a card. I'm not going to do that. Instead, if I may, I'm just going to ask each of you one question. David, if I may start with you. So if I could ask you to choose a colour, red or black, whatever you say is what we will use. What colour would you like? Black. Black. Alicia, the black cards are split into two suits. We have uh, the spades, we have the clubs. Again, if I could ask you to choose, whatever you want is what we will use. Clubs. Clubs, fantastic. Amanda, I need you to choose a value for me. What would you like? Nine. Nine, the nine of clubs. Simon, you're the boss. I'm going to give you the chance, if you like, to stick with the nine of clubs, or you can overrule all of the other judges, and you can choose <laughs> any other card that you like. What would you like? Seven of hearts. The seven of hearts. OK. Guys, there is no way I could know that you would choose the Nine of Clubs. There's no way I would know if you would overall, and if you would, what you would change to. You'll agree I haven't touched these. What I didn't tell you is that I've also drawn on the back of every single other card in this deck. Do you remember those cartoon flick books where you flick through and the little man comes to life? Check this out. You see our magician. He takes off his hat. He reaches inside. He pulls out just one card, ladies and gentlemen, not just any card, it's the Seven of Hearts. I know this sounds crazy, but I now actually believe in magic. <laughs> I do. Like some people believe in ghosts, I now believe in magic, because there's no explanation for that. None whatsoever, Alicia. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, that is going to bug us for the rest of the day, how you did that. <laughs> you are incredible. I feel like we are witnessing the beginning of something special with you. Bless you. David? I mean, that is a world-class trick. That's one of the best magic books I've ever seen. And it's not a trick. It's 
It's real magic. Yeah. He has magical powers. Somebody once said to me, who I really respect, that there are a lot of people who do tricks and there are a few people who actually can do magic. And I think we just saw that. Could you make Simon disappear? <laughs> We're going to take a vote. David? Of course, yes! <laughs> it's a yes for me. It's a yes for me. You've got four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> I now believe. Come on, we'll hug it out. Well done, Paul. How was that? Yeah, it's amazing. Best yes. trick I've seen. Oh, yeah, I got four yeses. Oh, my God! I nearly cried, it was unbelievable. Uh, yeah, you okay? Yeah, it's great, I'm just so happy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, just hit the button below if you want to see Lord More Britain's Got Talent clips. Go on, you know you want to.